it's uh, more of a general question to the gentleman. How do you see who Hungary is competing with? Because a PV investment is usually international investment. It's a big business. Who are the countries who can take the investment away from us? And a question to Mr. István Fi, how do you see when they trade for a balancing, who they get the uh, the electricity from, who, which countries have capacity, and we can utilize their capacity when we talk about a, a bigger market for a 15-minute product. Shall I start? Judy, may, may I start? I, I will answer the first question. And I'm Geza Loshan, CEO of KPMG. I've been working in this field for 15 years. Thank you very much for the question. And this is an exciting one. And we have been dealing with such topic at KPMG because we are in contact with the investors. And Hungary is not competing with PV investors, but we, there are investors who are looking at low or medium risk investment. It can be anything. And the bigger capital think globally and they don't think in Hungary or Central Europe. So it is the type of the investment that is competing and this type of investment can be competitive and, it, and also attractive while it can be really interesting and uh, can maintain its green status. I am Balázs Várszegi, partner in a law firm, and I agree with you in general, but if we want to reduce the whole thing to, to the PV, then firstly, Hungary is an attractive target from Western Europe because the premium that can be achieved here is still higher than uh, the premium uh, achievable in Germany or Western part of Europe. And also we have a higher number of uh, sunny hours. And the, even though this is not a labor intensive sector, but labor is cheaper anyway in Hungary. And if you look at the land prices, land costs, it, they are still lower than in the Western Europe. So I think that they really count and what is, of course, hindering the whole process is the, the balancing prices here in Hungary. And what we hear from our investors is if they don't look at Hungary, they try the Balkans. Serbia is rather a hotspot now, a lot of investment going to Serbia because not everybody can build a PV farm in Mexico because it's very far. So if we look at competitors, then I would list Balkans. Even if the, the electricity regulation in the Balkans is not necessarily better than the Hungarian. Mr. Istanfi. The question was, 
piaci területeknek a kiegyenlítő energiaszolgáltatásai What? versenyeznek, vagy milyen, mik azok, amik elérhetnek. Uh, markets are competing, uh, and mondjam, since ez a, az napon belüli piac the market connection uh, started, ez a the whole environment has significantly changed. So when the market players have to to harmonize their curves, these opportunities increase significantly. When we are talking about 50 minute ISP, uh, um, I mean 15 minutes IBS, uh, we can of course get closer to them, but even from the other part of Europe, deals are done. I haven't mentioned how this trading looks like. It works in a way that when the Hungarian trader submits an offer or looks at the trading screen, not only the local offers appear on loc at the local market, but the system looks at the capacities in the whole of the Europe and creates a screen for which market what offers can be realized in Hungary, what energy uh, volumes and we can see that in certain cases even a Spanish deal can be done. So I think that the, the scope and the uh, of the competitors has increased and the pool of the competitors has increased. And there is a higher probability of buying or selling on a daily market, but the price war is bigger. There was also a hybrid solution between the feed-in tariff system and also uh, between the renewable support scheme, the METAR system. And what information do you have? How these players behave? How could they enter the market? Because that could be a very good example for the investors, because most probably you have to do the same steps to uh, sign the same commercial agreements, the merchant margins, and so on and so on. But uh, as far as I know, the, the volumes are small. I, I start again. Yes, we are talking about small numbers. This is a, not a, a representative experience, but what we could see is that it became more complex than, than we thought. Uh, it, was, it was seen in a business plan that all the numbers are there, but when the commercial deals had to be signed, the there were a lot of uh, difficulties because the, the numbers were different, the conditions were different. And it, what can I draw your attention to is the refinancing, because those players uh, thought that 
what was already built, uh, there was no need for refinancing, but it is not true because you still need uh, refinancing capacity and capability. Uh, I think that there are very few projects that experience is rather limited. Uh, in the first hybrid round, uh, a lot were inexperienced. They only knew that they wanted to build PV farms or plants, and that's how they entered these tenders. And when they when they entered this process, they were not sure how they could sell this electricity in 15 years. So there were a lot of problems that had to be rectified on the fly, on the go, and this could have been avoided with a better project preparation, but until you don't have this uh, sales contract and, uh, and the guarantees, it's very difficult to obtain financing. So my question is relating to the 60-minute lead time on the ID market. In other Western European countries, uh, the situation is slightly better. So what what is the thinking about this? Because this also uh, drives deviations and also the costs. Yes, we know that this is one of the most important parameters of the ID market and we are working continuously to shorten this lead time. Currently it is 60 minutes. Hopefully we will be able to reduce that significantly, but you need to understand that uh, why this lead time is like this is not because of who picks, because we could reduce it to zero minutes right now, but there are two other factors that contribute to these 60 minutes. One is the clearing house and the other one is the transport network operator and they are tied by the deadlines and also the accountants' times. So with both entities we are having a continuous negotiations and we are trying to reduce the lead time even further. I can't give you any concrete promises, but you could expect a significant reduction in the future. Okay, let's go back to the experience of the previous standard. Uh, uh, the balancing prices maybe in the same order of, of hybrid run table. Please explain what your experiences were, what problems you faced without preempting the afternoon presentations. No, of course I will not preempt that because I'll keep that for the the afternoon audience. Now the the experience due to the sizes, the biggest category was 20 megawatts, and the bigger investors usually consider that as a limit value for the economy of scale. So the big investors would have greater appetite for larger scales, but this was limited. Maybe because the contract authority, contracting authority wanted just to support smaller businesses, but it was very much apparent that that the bigger market players were not participating in this tender. 
gondolom nyilván volt bennük egy fajta kívánság. They were probably just waiting and biding their time looking at the prices. They didn't want to um, open up by just quoting some prices, but they simply did not appear. And my expectation is that in the next second round, there will be investors or affiliated companies of those big names who are well known. So without preempting my later presentation, I can only repeat what my colleague just said. There was a certain cautiousness, and, and maybe you would uh, you had some bravery to participate in this tender, but there are certain capacities that are converging uh, because, of course, the industry requires a certain economy of scale. And also a question to Mr. Istvánfi. There are certain limits uh, in to joining the Hubex. And uh, when this when this is a, 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 a smaller investor, a smaller project, um, they need to contract with a certain merchant. But this, of course, has a, a cost side in the pricing of the project. And we have five minutes. Um, so uh, then I just uh, finish my question. So is there a possibility to reduce the entering limits, adjoining limits? Yes, we have been thinking about that and how to attract smaller market players. There are several burdens. One is the financial obstacle because the packages are formed for a big investors and they are not suitable for a smaller matar players and bidders so we need to reconsider those packages for smaller sellers this is one, and also we see an obstacle that the, the clearinghouse connections are rather costly. And there is an idea to, to introduce, instead of the classical to level clearing uh, to use a simpler accounting system that could improve the, uh, the threshold, the entry threshold. And uh, we, whenever we'll have some concrete ideas, we will, of course, communicate that to the market. And the third one, is that maybe a personal kind of limitation, uh, probably a small-scale generator and producer does not have enough capacity to have uh, somebody sitting there uh, online and providing offers and giving offers on the ID market. And um, there are certain solutions for that especially in the ID market, there is an automatic machine-to-machine -machine API interface where, through which softwares could communicate with each other. And also there are software solutions that are recommended by our partners, the ISP, Independent Software Vendors, so to use a third-party software through which the producers 
valamiféle adatcsomagra épp, can uh, implement automated trading um, processes. And I think this is um, a really rapidly growing sector within our industry. So there are new providers appearing every day and there will be ones that will target smaller players. Well, we run out of time, unfortunately. So thank you very much for your participation at the round table and we are eagerly expecting your presentations and also thank you very much for all these very interesting thoughts.